Evelyn, are you there? Just turn your video off if you're trying to send video. And I'm going to turn the recording off. Feel free to talk to me, Evelyn. Feel free to talk to me. Okay. We are we are looking at the first course module entitled History of Online Learning. Quiz located here. This is the quiz right here. The material that okay, you need. Okay, let me stop you right there. I took the quiz and submitted. All right. All right. Then I need to go into my, the grade center, and I need to see uh, what the grade is, and then I just post it. That's all I have to do. Okay. Now, what I was showing you is right down here where it says e-learning quiz certificate. If okay. you have that open on your screen and you click on it, if you see a certificate there, then the system is working right. And if you scored an 80% or higher, it basically gives you a little certificate. Okay, it says e-learning quiz, copy certificate to live text. I have a check. And it's check? Yes. Congratulations. Okay, I'm on my way. Yep, that's all you had to do. I just uh, need to uh, put that in live text, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really what I do with this, uh, frankly, a lot of people work their Blackboard this way is they put everything in the grading center in Blackboard. Uh -huh. and then they, just, they just copy it over into live text, and the students don't even ever see it until they get to the hat. Your hat has to be in live text. That's the rule. Okay. But, yeah, so you did fine. What I was telling everybody, and you can give me your sense of it, how hard did you find this? Uh, not hard, just time-consuming reading and, you know, everything. Right. And the reason why I put people through this misery is I want you to understand the way that online learning was, and frankly still is, in a lot of places. And what we're working toward is a new paradigm, is a new way of looking at online learning. And we will start that discussion with the next lecture, the next time we meet, where we will be talking about paradigm shifts and constructivism, inquiry-based learning, and then the reading that we have in this second module is from uh, Terry Anderson, and uh, this is really important to read, although it's a little heavy. What we're trying to get at here is our understandings about where all this uh, comes from. Okay, that's what I was having trouble when I clicked with that, so I just read what... Yeah, just read what's here. Okay. Okay. Um, And let me jump back here. I'm looking for the link to Terry's uh, chapter, and I don't see it. So I'll make sure. I might take that one down that says, Towards a Theory of Online Learning. Okay. This should be his his book right here, Chapter 2. Okay. And that, you're that's where I, when I clicked on that. Uh, you don't get it. You go to Athabasca University. Right. And I thought, right. well, do I read this? But now, I, I think I have uh, somewhere I downloaded his book. Well, you might have, because he freely gives it away. Right. I, actually, I know Terry. I actually know him. So I don't know what's happened here. Obviously, that link has gotten changed, and that's no big deal. That's easy enough for me to fix. But I'll get that fixed. Okay. But this is where we start doing things differently. Um, and we're going to be looking at how all this works 
using a tool called VoiceThread. Uh, we like VoiceThread a lot. And the paradigm shift, what we're trying to get at with the paradigm shift is this idea of how do we look at this is dead in a new way. But you don't have to have this done by next week unless you just want to stay ahead of everything. We're basically going to create... Sorry? I think I have most of that one done already. All right. Good for you. I just haven't... Here's... I haven't... That, that was the one question I was going to ask you. I have a tendency to, you know, not have it done by next week. Well, it's all here. Yeah, I don't have it done yet. I mean, it's all here. I mean, you know, here's the lecture for the, the second one. Okay, I've watched that one because I connected with you last week because I couldn't get that one to work. This module yes, too? Yes, but it's fine now. Yep, sure is. Uh, was that the one that had the music playing? I had yeah. to get rid of the music yeah. playing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I was going to show that in another class I teach and say, hey, you know, all this talk we have about YouTube and you can put anything into it. Well, let me show you what happens when I just was playing music in the background for the class, waiting for it to start, and it got recorded, and YouTube picked up on it and gave me a takedown notice. It didn't take long to clean it out, but, you know, I had to get rid of it. Then we're going to look at knowledge building principles, which is uh, the heart of the matter. And then we get the quality matters, which is uh, what your hat is based upon. So it's worth really kind of paying attention to this. Not hard to do. In fact, it's very easy to do. And then I've got some examples here that you would use um, for your Schoology, I mean, for your quality matters that you're going to, to use. Okay. I'll tell you. The ones here that are the Blackboard examples, you can look at them, but the really good examples are down here where it tells you how to log into it. Um, these right here. These are okay. good. The Actually, pretty much they're all pretty good, frankly. And then all you're going to do is you're going to look at one of those courses and then you're going to look at it through the QM lens. And the QM is uh, the document that we'll be using is right here in our Schoology course. And I guess I changed my password. I don't know why I would have done that. Okay, so I'm enrolled in the other class. Do I have a, a, a class code to go into that school, G, or is that on there? I can get... It's in there. For some reason, I changed my password into school, G. I don't know why I did that, but I did. So when I click on that That's link, it will take me to... Let me go back and show you. So it says up here for you to join the okay, class. Okay, that's what I'm asking. I guess yes, I see it now. Yes. You're gonna put that code okay. in. Okay. And then you'll basically go in there and you know create your your account. Okay. Um, this is what I wanted to show you. So this is the QM document that we'll be using for this particular module, but this is also your App. This is your final. Okay, that's the, Let me yes, see if I can, I can okay. zo zoom this in a little bit. There we go. And so it's made up of these different standards. And what you'll be doing is for this particular module and for your final, you'll be going through and looking at an online class and then you'll be scoring it. 
So if you look over here, it says that for standard number one, standard 1.1 is a uh, instructor makes clear how to get started and where to find various course components. And so if you find that that is really important into that class, in other words, it's there, then you're going to give it a three. Now, when they're just one, it, it doesn't mean that that's the score. That means the importance of it. So usually what we'll see is someone won't have, like this down here that says, students are asked to introduce themselves in the class. Most of the time, you're not going to find that. So you just put a zero there. It's not, it's not a bad grade, but it would be if you had a zero up here where it says three. Okay, so let, let me ask to make sure I understand. Like on the first one, 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, so if they have it, I give them a three. If they yep. don't, yep. it's a zero. You got okay. it. Okay. So, and you could cut, you could, you could split hairs here and say, well, it's there, but it's not front and center. It's not the first thing I see when I go in. I have to hunt around for it. And you can see here it says instructors make clear how to get started and where to find various course okay. components. If, if that isn't front and center when you first go in, that can't be a three. Okay. Uh, you know, you'll find that most courses will have it front and center. Let me see here. Um, Let me see if Drury or Florida State, what they have. Okay, they've stopped us from getting into this one. I've got a little bit of work to do here. I've got to clean up some things. So I will get that done, and I'll clean these up so we can see them. Let's see what Liberty does. Liberty makes me go there. And it wants me to log in. Okay, these used to be free and open. They're no longer, but I'll get them cleaned up. Okay. And they'll be ready for you. Let's see, where are the other ones? There's Drury. Drury does have. Let's see what Drury does. And they're shut down. <laughs> okay. Sorry, right, I got one in my. <laughs> I've got one in my back pocket that I can put into play. And it's from uh, Jefferson County, Colorado, as a matter of fact. It's pretty cool. All right. Is there anything else? Because i got some work to do here. Mm, no, I think I'm, I'm good up. You know, that that take me a while to get up. I'm yeah, working on Model yeah, 2 will. right now. Yeah. All right. Module two, we'll get Terry's uh, article back in here. Okay. And I'll do that right now, as a matter of fact. And I think the voice thread is pretty straightforward how to use. Yes, I'm okay with that. I've, I've used it before. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you go so I can get this uh, get these two things fixed okay. here. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. You know how to reach me. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.